Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shoot shoot. Today we're going to be shooting Norma Tip Strike 140 grain out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is what the box looks like, Norma Tip Strike. This is sort of like a ballistic tip type thing. It's supposed to really put them down, expand really fast. Here I'll flip it around. It's got some of your ballistics data and some of your uh, just promo information. You can pause and zoom in right there if you want. But really what I like to do is show the ammo to you guys so we can just kind of get a feel for quality control. And Norma, the ammo is always absolutely just beautiful. They have these really neat little plastic ammo holders. Press down down here, pop it out up top. And the ammo just always looks absolutely beautiful from Norma. And I have to mention this in case you haven't seen the other videos with Norma Ammo. These plastic holders, you can crack them like that and have two little five rounders you can throw in a range bag or your pocket or whatever. And also, these plastic holders can be used as a fire starter. Uh, Norma has a video on YouTube showing that, so that's really neat. And the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, of course. We've got a 22 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one. And I want to show you over here on the other side, we've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after firing that 140 grain Norma tip strike out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And once again, I just posted a video on the Norma Bond strike. We only had two bullets recovered there. And with this one, we also only have two bullets recovered. But they had extremely similar performance. We got, looks like 21 and 3 quarter inches. And we'll give it 22 inches of penetration. That is some surprisingly deep penetration for a bullet that is supposed to be sort of a fast expanding, somewhat explosive round. Maybe not explosive, but just fast expanding. But we also got deep penetration. The third bullet, there's the track right there. It slipped out the side of the block and wound up somewhere over there. And then we'll take a look at the first block here real quick. And we did get some pretty quick expansion as soon as the bullets went into the block. It looks like we got about two and a half to three inches of little expansion and then they started to open up right here and we had a pretty good wound cavity between about the three inch and nine inch mark which is about what you want for something like a white-tailed deer a white-tailed deer is only about 12 to 14 inches wide so i have no doubt that this would really lay the hammer on them and let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that 140 grain norma tip strike out of the 65 creedmoor the high was 25.59 the low was 2549, very close, and the average was 2555 feet per second. And here we have those Norma Tip Strike 140 grains recovered from the ballistics gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 78 and 86 grains. Overall average was 82 grains of retained weight for 59% weight retention. Now we'll talk about expansion. Respectively, they were 0.61 inches and 0.68 inches for an average of 0.65 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.5x expansion. That is well over my sort of benchmark for medium game hunting of 2x. And now we'll talk about velocity. The high velocity was 2,559 feet per second. The low was 2,549 feet per second for an average of 2,555 feet per second versus a build velocity of 2,625 feet per second. So we had an incredibly tight spread between high and low. That's good, consistency is always good. But these did come in a little bit slow as compared to the factory stated velocity. 
no surprise there. Pretty much every factory ammo is like that. They use way too long barrels when they test it at the factory and out here in the real world we're using 22 inch barrels most of the time and we just don't see that velocity that they claim and as far as penetration goes i was actually pleasantly surprised with how deep these went being that they are meant to be a sort of ballistic tip rapid expanding bullet we saw 22 inches and 21 and three quarter inches of penetration for an average of 21 and 7 8 inches so these things definitely penetrate as well as expand all right, y'all, final thoughts on the Norma Tip Strike 140 grain bullet out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And I swear this is, the this is like the fourth take I've done of this. Anyways, we had kind of low weight retention, 59% not a big surprise it's a ballistic tip bullet it's supposed to expand rapidly and deliver instant stop as it says on the box lethal knockdown power i'm not a huge proponent of that type of bullet for hunting bigger game i guess on smaller size medium game i'd be more prone to do it personally smaller white tails pronghorn things like that I want something that holds together a little bit better. And then as far as expansion goes, we had massive expansion, 2.5X, and that's exactly what they advertised, that instant stop, lethal knockdown power. It definitely did the job there. And then penetration-wise, hey, it did hit that 20-inch benchmark and go a little bit past it. So all in all, it's, it's probably a fine medium game hunting bullet. It's not my bag, you know what I'm saying? I want something that holds together a little bit better and still does all the other stuff. But if you want to try it, go for it. Let me know how it works for you. If you've used this stuff, hey, let me know in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.